I think it's I think it's overall like it's a selfless team. Because if you look in his huddle and, and, and you look around from Brock to to Trent to all the guys up front and to all of the skilled guys, like you never know who game is going to be. So you just got to win in your time. And I think Kyle do a great job with you know dispersing the ball around everybody. So what has what it been like to be teammates with Trent? Man? Um, it's been amazing, man. I feel like I've known Trent all my life, which is crazy. I've only been knowing him four years now. Um, but like, yeah, man, that's like a, definitely like a real big brother to me. Because you always about music. What are some of the top five artists that you check that you listen to that you buy? Top five? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with Lil Baby. I'm gonna go with Future. I definitely gotta put Rod in there. I gotta put Young Boy in there. I'll be vibing with that. I'll be, I be vibing that dirt too. Debo, we, we know you're a real competitive man. Are you extra? Okay. We know you're real competitive, man. Are you extra competitive for this game because they I'm, did I'm win? The I'm the same competitive every game. I know you, you mentioned uh, like you didn't love the tape you had in 2022. Uh, how much more did you like your tape this year so far, man? I ain't even went out. We, we'll, we'll revisit that when, the, when it's all said and done. So, simple, Debo, are you ready? Are we going to win this or what? Nah, for sure. Definitely ready. All right, let's go. The locker room is, is crazy. Um, the energy, and I think we got a we got, we got a good group of guys that's that's been in this position for me in uh, 2019. And you know, you just look around and you think like my rookie year was lose. second. I mean, my second year of COVID, NFC lose, NFC lose. All right, now we're here. So like, what are we going to do to take advantage of every opportunity that we have? And that's been the one thing that we've been focused on all week. The leadership of this, this team, when you guys went through your, your stretch a little bit, can you talk about that? How that became, became, Say it again. The leadership of your team, the locker room, when you went on that four-game losing streak to come back now. And it was three, not four. Three, my bad. I'm so sorry. It was three games. The, the point is about your leadership and the locker room of this team and the cohesiveness you have. Um, you know, uh, the, the goal is to win every game, but in reality, you know you're not going to win every game. Is how you're going to bounce back. And, you know, we kind of hit a slump. And, I mean, we've been in the slump for a couple of years, and our main thing is the start of this year was coming out and being fast and not standing behind the eight ball. And we came out, I think we won, I think, what, four straight, five straight? One of them. But, um, yeah, man, the main goal is just to keep winning. Is when you get a slump, like, don't let it continue to happen over and over and over again. And then after that stretch, we just went on the run. We talked about this a little bit, not making this game any bigger than any other game, but being ready for it. What about what you ask it? Well, the question is, how do you – going to this game not making it any bigger than it is but just a game that you have to execute and win. Uh, I think you're making a statement. <laughs> Debo, what, what do you guys have to do better or differently to, to not come out slow like against Green Bay? I mean, we just got to do what we do. Uh, sustain drives, convert on third down, move the ball, and you know, our defense go out here and get stops and keep us on the field as much as possible. Take Debo, Vegas. This is Chase. He's a Super Bowl kid reporter. What's up, man? Right? Say it again. Who was your favorite wide receiver to watch growing up? Julio Jones. 
Is he, did you model your game after him? Nah, because I played running back. I was a Reggie Bush guy. Yeah. You know, how last Super Bowl, how much you lose in the Super Bowl in a chase four years ago driving? Maybe some of the teammates. I mean, I mean, he's been driving me ever since. Um, you know, maybe the Super Bowl in my review, I just think it's just going to keep happening, keep happening. But in reality, it's not how, it's not how it works. So you do everything possible to get in these moments and just take advantage of them. How long did it stick with you? Losing answer. I didn't watch the Super Bowl for like a year and a half and I lost it all out. You know, last Super Bowl you didn't have your son. This time you had your son. What would a Super Bowl win mean for your family? Man, it mean everything. Uh, you know, uh, it's just moments like this that you know that will never be taken away. Like last week winning the NFC championship and he was there to watch that and you know he'll be here this Sunday to watch it and man, it, it, it means the world to me. What's the number one thing you learned from the last Super Bowl you think will help you in this game? Say it again? What's that was like four years ago, right? <laughs> but was there anything you took from that that will help you win this game? You just got to take advantage of every opportunity you get. What, what was your 10-year-old self thinking of you 